Welcome back. Today we'll be discussing nylon, one of the materials that we primarily use here at POBA. And in addition, we'll also be introducing uh, Bryce Ego. He's our tooling and extrusion design engineer here at POBA. And he'll be giving you some uh, knowledge on the material specifications and compositions. Um, two of the most common materials that we use are Vestimid ML21 and Grillmid L25, which are both grades of nylon 12. Um, throughout the rest of this, sequence we'll kind of discuss the differences in between the two materials, um, some of our preferences and just some of our experiences with the material and how we can help guide you guys through uh, your material selection. A couple different grades that we often get requested are nylon 6, nylon 11, and nylon 12. Uh, the often Often people will request nylon 6 because of the, what they see on material data sheets. They'll see uh, improved um, strength in the material. Uh, a little bit more about nylon 6 is that it's actually more of an injection grade material and it's actually very difficult to, to blow form this material. Um, one of the observations that we've had is that you can't get very large blow up ratios with the material which means that the relationship between the maximum balloon diameter and the tails of the balloon is very small. So you have very large profiles and the rigidity of the material in combination with the blow up uh, really doesn't make it an ideal material for blow forming uh, medical device balloons. Um, the next material is, is nylon 11. Um, with nylon 11, or I guess the big difference in between nylon 11 and nylon 12 is they have different molecular weights. Where nylon 12 has an increased molecular weight, where the actual polymer chains themselves are longer, uh, the big difference is that nylon 12 is going to have uh, improved burst strength. Um, so I would say a large portion of the work that we do here is really focused around nylon 12 uh, due to the good blow up ratios that we're able to achieve, as well as the increased burst strength that we see from nylon 11. A few of the most common uses for these nylon balloons are things such as angioplasty, stent delivery, um, drug delivery, uh, occlusion, just dilation throughout the body. Um, and on the next episode, Bryce will be taking you guys more in depth than nylon 12 specifically. He'll be giving you guys more information into the materials makeup. We'll see you then.